The design of the M3 MacBook Air is refreshing. It is very thin, light, and portable. It is very easy to carry in one hand and fits in most backpacks easily due to its thickness and overall size. The height of the MacBook Air is 1.13 centimeters. This contributes to the overall weight of the laptop coming in at 1.24 kilograms. The length of the laptop is 31.41 centimeters and the width is 21.5 centimeters. I think this is the perfect size for a portable laptop. It's light, thin and easy to carry around. I bought this laptop for my wife as she is studying. I'd recommend it for any students who value portability. The curved corners and the smooth edges of the laptop allows for less fatigue in longer typing sessions or using it on your lap. Overall, I really like the design of the new MacBook Air and think it is useful and functional. The display of the M3 MacBook Air is the best in class. It comes with a 13.6 inch diagonal LED backlit display with IPS technology. It supports 1 billion colors, P3 wide color gamut, and True Tone technology. In my usage of the laptop, the screen has been amazing. It is great for general content consumption, watching YouTube videos, for editing photos and video editing as the display is color accurate, so you can trust that the quality and colors will transfer well to other devices. It's also great for reading text for longer periods of time, whether it be for uni or work, as it has a crisp display with 224 pixels per inch. This model is a 13 inch M3 MacBook Air with the base model specs, 8 core CPU with 4 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, 8 core GPU, 16 core neural engine, the M3 chip has an advanced media engine providing hardware acceleration to the most popular video codecs including H.264, HEVC, ProRes and ProRes RAW. I got the base model for my wife. As for her use cases, she doesn't require more RAM for video editing or multitasking. For uni students who use laptops for assignments and basic word processing, 8GB of RAM is more than enough. It does not slow down at all and has not crashed or glitched once since purchasing. I haven't tested editing video on this MacBook Air, but I'm confident that it would edit videos on Final Cut Pro with ease. The battery life is on another level. It comes with up to 18 hours of battery life. It lasts a whole day and more without the need for a recharge. The overall battery is great for anyone who is on the go and doesn't always have access to a PowerPoint. I'd recommend this to uni students and creatives. The keyboard of the M3 MacBook Air is amazing. The scissor switches are very nice and tactile, so typing is satisfying. The backlit keys are great as you can type in low light without having to strain your eyes to see where all the keys are. I also just like typing in general, so I muck around on a bit of monkey type to see if I can beat my high score for typing speed. Overall, I can't fault the keyboard of the more recent Macs. They have been sturdy, tactile, and seem to stand the test of time. Again, I would say best in class in terms of typing experience and functionality. In terms of use cases, the M3 MacBook Air is versatile. From basic word processing, writing emails, content consumption, photo editing, video editing, color grading, scripting, playing games, listening to music, and so much more. I would say it opens up so many possibilities. For some, it can be seen as just another time waster. For others, it can be seen as a tool to create, to inspire, or to just get things done. So who's this laptop actually for? So, uni students. And also most people who use laptops for basic tasks. If you are a creative and need more power, I would go for the larger RAM and bump it up to 10 core GPU. For everyone else, the base model is perfect. For people who know they are going to need more power and RAM, they are most likely to go for the Pro. But for others who value portability and ease of use, I would say go for the M3 MacBook Air. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video or learnt something in the process, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. See you in the next one.